In a bubble sort, the heaviest item sinks to the bottom of the list while the lightest one floats to the top. You can imagine this process as bubbles floating to the surface of a liquid. You can use index cards to simulate the bubble sort algorithm. To create a bubble sort in C++, you will need an array to sort. Remember, an array is a finite set of values of a single data type. You will also need a looping structure so that you can comb through the array as many times as needed until the list is organized. In order to rearrange the array elements by size, you will need a conditional statement to make a size comparison between two numbers. The comparison will swap numbers if they are out of order. You will need to test each pair of adjacent numbers at least once to sort them all. This could take many loop cycles. For this reason, bubble sort is not considered to be a very efficient sorting algorithm. In order to stop the algorithm once the list is sorted, you will need some way to let the computer know when to terminate the loop. Here are some code segments for you to try. The array contains six elements to be sorted. The boolean variable terminates the program algorithm once a loop cycle completes, and no swaps are made. int n is a for loop counter. k increments each time a swap is made during a for loop cycle. Once a for loop cycle is completed, k is reset to zero. If k remains zero through an entire for loop, ordered becomes true, and the looping terminates. x and y are placeholders for numbers that need to be swapped. The while loop will run as long as swaps are made during one for loop cycle. If a number is greater than its successor, a swap is made and k increments by one. After six comparisons are completed, K is reset to zero. 